Hello, dear students. This is Dr. Chandrakala HD. In this video, under the topic Modern Wireless Communication Systems, I'll be teaching you the WAP protocol stack. The WAP protocol stack is shown in this picture. WAP stands for Wireless Application Protocol. The Wireless Application Protocol suit has several protocols. The first protocol is wireless application environment, that is the WAE. Uh, this picture also shows the comparison between the functionalities of this layer on wireless networks and on internet. The jobs done by the HTML and JavaScript on internet, they are performed by the wireless application environment. And the wireless application protocol has wireless session layer protocol, WSP and wireless transaction protocol, WTP, which totally do the job of what is done by the HTTP protocol in internet. Wireless transport layer security protocol does the job of the secure socket layer or transport layer security uh, protocol, which is present in the internet. The wireless datagram protocol will perform all the jobs of the TCP and UDP IP protocols available in the internet. The wireless datagram protocol has a direct connectivity to all the bearer services like SMS, USSD, CSD, CDMA, so on. So let us learn one by one of them in detail. The first layer is application layer. So this layer provides an application environment, uh, which is intended for development and executions of, of portable applications and services on the wireless handheld devices. The wireless application environment is going to operate in the application layer for wireless networks. The WAE will contain two different uh, user agents on the client side. The WAE user agent and WTA user agent. WAE user agent consists of a browser and the text message editor, uh, which can get connected to the WAP gateway. And there is a WTA user agent uh, that is the wireless uh, telephony application agent, which takes care of connectivity to the telephone service. The session layer of the wireless network they consist of one or more methods using which an organized exchange of content can happen between the client and server application. There are three main components in the web session layer. The connection oriented uh, session services, these operate on the WTP, wireless uh, transaction protocol. These provide a connection oriented exchange of data. The connectionless service uh, session services operate directly on the wireless datagram protocol, WTP in the WDP in the protocol stack. These provide datagram services without a, a formal establishment of connection. And the third component is session services. So session services are functionalities which help to set up a connection between the client and server using primitive messages. So the job of session layer is to establish a connection between the client and server application for data transmission. For this purpose, to establish a connection, the session layer makes use of primitive messages. Primitive messages are special messages which the client sends to the server in order to request the service facility. The client will send request primitives to the server and it will receive confirm primitive. And the server can send a response primitive to the server. It can receive indication primitive. So whatever messages are exchanged between clients and servers, they are termed as primitive, primitive messages in the uh, WAP session layer. The connectionless session services, they do not provide any confirmed services. They always provide non-confirmed services. If the connection oriented session service is used, then confirmed services can be utilized. In order to start a session, the client will invoke the WSP primitive, which provides 
parameters like the server address, client address, and client headers. The WSP, uh, that is a wireless session protocol, is very similar to HTTP, HTTP of the internet layer. Uh, it can be called as a binary form of the HTTP. The transaction layer of the wireless uh, network provides different methods for performing transaction, uh, transactions between the applications with variable degree of reliability. So whatever transactions have to happen uh, between the various applications, they happen through the transaction layer. So the transaction layer takes the big messages from the session layer, breaks them up into smaller transactions, and it will communicate with the receiving side. The wireless networks contain a security layer, which is optional. And the job of this security layer is to provide authentication, uh, privacy, and secure connections between the applications. The security layer is based on the secure socket layer. It provides services which ensure the privacy of data for the user. It performs server authentication as well as client authentication. So authentication means checking whether they are valid clients or and valid servers or not based on some uh, username and password credentials. It also provides data integrity services. Data integrity uh, means to ensure that the data is not changed or seen by any other unauthorized users during the transmission. A standard secure socket layer session will be opened uh, between the web server and the web gateway. And a WTLS session, that is wireless uh, transaction layer session, uh, is initialized between the gateway and the mobile device. And the encrypted content will be sent through this connection from the server to the gateway. The gateway will translate it and send it to the mobile phone. So the transaction between the SSL and WTLS will take place. It will take place in the memory component of the WAP gateway itself. So this is the main function of WAP gateway. It sits between the client and server and makes sure that a transaction between the SSL and WTLS sessions happen. The transport layer in the web protocol suit is the bottom layer and uh, it's connected to the bearer service offered by the operators. The bearer services are uh, the services which initiate communication between the mobile phone and the base stations. Several protocols are used to provide bearer services. Some of the protocols are uh, the uh, unstructured supplementary service data protocol that is user uh, sorry ussd protocol for transmitting unstructured data circuit switch data which is uh, going to transmit structured data using a virtual circuit which is established that is done using the csd protocol and the channel multiplexing uh, which is nothing but using a single uh, communication channel for transmitting uh, data from multiple applications, uh, the channel multiplexing or multiple access to a single channel is, is achieved using three different types of uh, protocols. The TDMA, time division multiple access protocol, FDMA, frequency division multiple access protocol, CDMA, which is code division multiple access protocol. And uh, the mobile communication is handled using a standard GSM protocol, global system for mobile communication. And uh, the radio services uh, for moving vehicles will be handled using general packet radio service protocol. The message service will be provided using the standard messaging service, that is SMS protocol. So all these protocols uh, work in the bearer services. The physical layer will prepare the data to be sent from mobile device over the air services and sends the data using the bearer service implemented in the network and uh, the bearer services are quite important in providing uh, a connectivity uh, and service for the physical layer for data transmission. The wireless datagram protocol will have an interface with various bearer networks. Uh, so um, it must have a bearer specific implementation since it has to communicate with the bearer networks. 
WDP layer is the only layer in the WAP protocol suit which has to be rewritten in order to support different bearer networks. So whenever a new bearer network is added uh, for the WAP protocol suit, the WDP has to be rewritten, whereas all other layers can work intact without any modifications. The WDP layer, the wireless uh, trans transaction protocol layer will implement a request response transaction uh, instead of a three-way handshake in order to establish connection between the sender and the receiver. So this was about the WAP protocol suit. Thank you.